Hello, everybody. Okay, hello, guys. Me, Bokusatsu, or otherwise, my name is Aaron. So, today I'm going to review the Dragon Star Super Saiyan Bardock from the latest wave. Now, today I found this guy at my GameStop. Keep in mind, I traded in DBZ Kakarot for him. For him and Janimba and and another and couple and two other figures, but I'm gonna save that till uh next month. But if you follow my Instagram, you already know what it is. So let's, let's begin. So how is he how is he for, for articulation? Well legs are solid, the the joints are tight, which I actually do like. Mm-hmm. The paint detail. The paint detail looks really good, not gonna lie. It looks now I don't have the original Bardock, the base form Bardock, but this Bardock, this this Super Saiyan version does look really good for art for color. It looks accurate to like the uh, one movie. When Bardock when Bardock went Super Saiyan against Lord Chill. The arms are okay. This one's more tired. This one's a little bit uh, loose. It's disappointing. That's the arm. Oops, this arm's a little loose. Besides that, pretty good. The colors, the hair color is really good. Not a banana type of color. Hashtag Super Saiyan Banana. You know who you are, Dragon LZ. He got the bandana, aka the blood of his fallen comrades. This figure looks accurate. So what do you come, what so what does he come for? Uh accessories. Just two hands. Just two hands. That's it. He did not come he he not he not come with a builder figure because I do know that Bandai America did stop with that because they were trying to copy Marvel Legends with the Builder figures. So, <laughs> this, so yeah. But even without the Builder figures, this is still a good figure, not gonna lie. The colors, the articulation, just one small problem, which is the freaking uh, uh, arm right here. But besides that, it's figures. This figure is accurate to the uh, to the special. So what? So for size comparison, here we here we have the SA Figures best selection coming right to build, and here here he is right next to the Lightning Collection Magna Magma Magna Defender. Huh. He's almost on scale with Magma Defender, and build is shorter. He's on par with both of them, to be honest with you. And here he is right next to the Dragon Star Super Janimba, which I did got today as well. And do not worry, I will do a review on Janimba as well. Yeah, yeah, right now to the Dragon Stars, uh, Super Saiyan 2.0 Goku. Do not worry, I will, sorry, hold on. Do not worry, I will do a review on this Goku. Relax, that will happen. <laughs> He's on scale with both of them, but Janemba is taller than both of them, so... Yeah. So, so overall, what do I think of the figure? I love it. It's actually pretty good. Dragon Star, sorry, Bandai America did step up ever since the first wave, and this figure, <laughs> it's an exception. It's, it's, it's an exception for that. 
I recommend you go buy him. I think he's like twenty dollars on Amazon. I found I found mine at GameStop, so I was lucky. So besides that, this figure is definitely a must for your Dragon Star collection, just like mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and post that notification button on. And follow my Instagram account at Bokusatsu. And follow my Vimeo account. I do comrade dubs on there. That's it, guys. My name's Aaron, and I'm out.